Good evening, my friends. This is for you if you have a very strong connection to the concept of home. If you found home in forests and books and backyards and light and water and all kinds of places you couldn't really pin down your whole life. Maybe you had an experience at the beginning of your journey of recovery that took you home to yourself. But also this is my story. Those are the places I found home my whole life. They were always in a thing an experience, never a place. And at the beginning of my journey, I found home in a way that I didn't know was possible. And about five months later, I lost home. I lost every sense of home. And aside from a few months in the summer of 2019, I spent the last five years, six years, six years in exile. And there were moments where I connected with home. There were moments in time where I knew that I hadn't lost myself fully that I could reach out and touch myself. I could touch home, I could touch the ground and know that I wasn't fully lost for moments in time. There was a lot of moments where I felt like all was lost. So many, so many moments where I just thought I was gonna be lost in exile forever and that I would never find my way home and I didn't know why I'd ever known home. Like, why would I, why would I know this place just to be taken so far away from it through kind of the endless cycles of, you know, recovery. It was just so many cycles of working through all the things that had kept me separated from home, you know, these endless mountains and valleys and trenches of recovery that just, it was one more thing after another trying to work my way back to that place. And it just didn't work. Like it was just, I was in that for so long, for so many different reasons, both during and after recovery that I just thought I would never get home. I was, you know, and I, it's all I wanted. It's all I've ever wanted. I would, it's the thing I've cried about. I think the most and prayed about the most is I just want to go home. Like, I just don't care about anything else. I don't care. At the end of the day, that's it. That's all I care about. And, and one of the things I got hooked on or stuck on earlier in recovery was this idea that I would always find home the same way. I think I would always find it at the beginning when I had my relapse, I tried to go back to rounds because it was like, well, I found them in rounds. Maybe I'll find it there again. And then I'll find it in nature because I found it there. And then I'll find it in music, which didn't always work. Or I'll find it in certain people, which didn't work. It just, it just didn't, the, the old familiar pathways home just didn't work. And I, I think I just kind of gave up at some point unconsciously. Um, I think I forgot that I was looking for home and, I just went on a trip this last weekend and home found me in a state I've never been in around my family of origin, which that's never happened. I closed on my house the day that found home found me. I took a, a 10 hour trip, fell asleep at three 30 in the morning, woke up at nine 30 and immediately I felt home the second I woke up that morning. And I don't know why. And it didn't, it stayed. It followed me around and pursued me like it was a like a, a bird on a hunt for days. And I just want to tell you that you, you never get home by the same road twice. I don't think you do. Ever. Ever. But it's there. And if your heart is set on it, you'll find it again. And... For those of us in exile, I think that's probably the most hopeful thing we could ever hear is that home hasn't abandoned us and that we'll find our way back to it someday by a road we least expect at a moment when all hope is lost. So that's what I want to tell you tonight. You never find home by the same road twice. 
but home hasn't given up on you, even if you've given up on it. I just want you guys to know that. I love all of you. You'll find your way home, promise.